You know well I'm a chicken fried A cold beer on a Friday night Here are your ingredients to make Sherland's best fried chicken In a bowl, pour about a half a cup of apple cider vinegar and squeeze lemon juice onto the chicken Add ice cold water This will be your acidic soak rinse It cleanses the chicken one of the two steps to perfectly crispy outer chicken crust. Please note to be sure to clean your chicken inside of a sink. Transfer your chicken into a strainer and rinse off with cold water. Now it's time to dry your chicken. Place your paper towels inside of a clean bowl with extra paper towels. Pat dry the chicken to make sure the chicken is dry. And now it's time to add some flavor. Add your lari seasoning. Add generously, but remember, do not over salt. Add black pepper. Add some garlic powder. And finally, add some onion powder. With your hands or a spoon, toss the chicken to season evenly. And now it's time to make your batter. In a clean bowl, add self-rising flour. Pour enough to dip each chicken. Season it with some black pepper and seasoned salt. Stir up the batter. And once you're done with that, dip each chicken piece into the batter. Shake any excess flour batter and transfer each piece into a bowl. You're gonna place the entire bowl into the freezer. It will not freeze. While it's in the freezer, be sure to heat your oil on medium-high heat to be ready. Once your chicken is out of the freezer after 25 minutes, your chicken will be nice and ready to fry up. Place each chicken piece in hot oil and fry on each side for about 8 to 10 minutes or until each side is nice and golden brown. And while that's frying up, be sure to have a bowl with paper towel ready. So once your chicken is done, you'll be all ready. And once your chicken is done, you'll transfer the chicken into the paper towel bowl to drain. And your chicken will be nicely fried, will come out nice, crispy, and tasty, and they'll be begging for more. Enjoy.